Hey, how's it going? I'm Patrick Bateman, and this is News Music Monday. And one of the biggest announcements this week was the official list of 2022 nominees at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, if you care about that sort of thing. And surprise, I don't. So moving on. Former guest of The Road, The Stage, episode 29 to be exact, Boy Golden was recently the victim of a harmless post by Canada Music Memes, who I must say uh, have some very quality work. Check him out. Boy Golden's got a certified hit with his track KD and Lunch Meat, which, like Canada Music Memes hinted at, was an idea born from being very stoned and very hungry. He said so himself on the road the stage. But finally, Kraft Dinner themselves have piped in on the thread asking, how does one make lunch meat? Effectively ending what could have been a beautifully memely partnership and a pretty good joke. Thanks a lot. KD. The lineup for the 2022 Incarceration Music and Tattoo Festival in Mansfield, Ohio has dropped. This three-day tattoo and music themed weekend will see acts like Disturbed, Corn, Evanescence, Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace, and Papa Roach do their thing. Leaving me here begging whoever organized this thing to get better bands to associate with tattoos, or as many there will call it, a pain stain. Nicki Minaj and DeLil Baby have a new song out. It's called, Do We Have a Problem? And the answer is yes, yes we do. So on to some actual good music for those of you looking to beef up your playlists. Some of the new tunes I've been listening to this week include the latest Kamasi Washington, The Garden Path, AKA the best thing to happen on Jimmy Fallon's The Tonight Show in a very long time. Luna Lee's Silver in Terrain, Sister Ray's Crucified, Busty in the Bass with Airplanes featuring Cadence Weapon, and Jasmine's Crystal Ball. Not only are these these great songs, they work extremely well at very loud volumes to drown out honking horns and ignorance, as well as your own embarrassment and inner rage. Just ask your doctor. Rapper Gavi, I think that's how you say it, is suffering the consequences you might expect from repeatedly sending women pictures of his ding ding, as it's referred to many times in Jackass Forever. I guess now is a good time to lay out all the context cards on the table, all right? These women didn't want or expect to receive dick pics from the Christian rapper. They just did. Imagine that, a normal day, minding your own business, and look, a message. Oh, that's a picture of a penis that I didn't ask for. That's gross and creepy and weird, man. And please don't do that, or may you never close your eyes again without the unforgettable sight of a million strangers' dicks. Anyways, Gavi's toast and clearly has to figure his issues out, like, you know, getting kicked off the We Are Unashamed tour because of the situation. Don't worry, though, he'll be forgiven, guaranteed. I'm Patrick Bateman. That has been News Music Monday. And if you want to make my Monday, you can like this video and furthermore, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Communal Creative Studios.